Good morning, good morning. Are you ready for a couple of nifty, thrifty tips? Two are grocery store tips, and one is a different tip, not related to the grocery store, but related to savings. Let's talk about this back in a minute. Hey, good morning, good morning. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money, and I really love helping people to keep some more of their own hard-earned money. I'm going to get into just a couple of nifty, thrifty tips. Two of them take place in the grocery store, and one is not related to the grocery store. By the way, I don't know about you, but is this week not going so fast? I cannot believe we're almost towards the end of this work week. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so let's talk about something. All right, here's, I had I had not a very excellent experience with this, so I want to share this with you. Um, you know those like cereals that are sold? Uh, sometimes it's, um, what do you call, store brand type of cereal. And many times they are packaged in like uh, plastic packaging, like flimsy. Be really careful with those for a number of reasons, uh, especially if they are located towards the bottom shelf. So, yeah, so I probably, when I when I got the uh, bag home, this was a while back. When I got the bag home, I didn't realize that it already had like a poked hole in it. And goodness knows what could have, we could have gotten in. I didn't even, I just removed it from the grocery bag. I just got it home. So it wasn't like something that happened like on my time. It happened on their time, but be really, really careful. This is actually like kind of like a bonus extra grocery store tip. Honestly, I recommend, I know the prices are usually better on things that are wrapped that way, but look carefully first before you take it home. I mean, the hole was small, but who knows? Maybe, you know, a lot of air could have gone in there over a period of time, bacteria. This is what I'm trying to say, not to mention anything else that could have gotten in there because, it, you know, cereal and certain things tend to, you know, like the crawly woolly wigglers or whatever tries to get into something like that. And I don't want that in my life. <laughs> so please be very extra careful when you pick up those plastic uh, cereal type bags like that. Usually you're better off, in my opinion, even though it might cost a few more cents, uh, better off, in my opinion, with cereal that is in a box and in those one of those indestructible bags that it comes in on the interior. I figured out why now they're indestructible. <laughs> But it could be very, uh, very helpful. All right. So the other tip to mention, one of the greatest, well, there are two great secrets in a grocery store as far as bargains go. These three items in the frozen section, they're all in the frozen section. So I highly recommend that, by the way, produce from the frozen section are usually uh, flash frozen. What does that mean? Very little handling in between. So you're going to get the freshest experience, believe it or not, many times from a frozen item and usually at a much better price. So here are a couple of things I highly recommend. A bag of mixed vegetables, if that's something you like, especially the one that includes like the diced potatoes in it. Oh, my word. And some come in like more like for stew sizes, like if you make a stew where you don't, where you don't want teensy weensy vegetables, you want them a little bigger. All right. So that is a great great bargain. Why? Because you're getting a, one of the freshest experience. You get to use it as you go along. I love those mixed frozen bags of uh, mixed vegetables rather because you could just, like I said, take a handful out. You want it for a soup. Take a handful out. You want it for a casserole. Take a handful out. You want it for stew. This to me is saving, not to mention less slicing and dicing. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Another bargain in the frozen section is frozen spinach, whether you like it already chopped, whether you like it leaf, frozen spinach is a winner winner to me. Now I appreciate canned products. I've done many shows about that and I'll probably do another one and not so just in the future, but I appreciate canned products. But in this case, I am 
personally, I prefer the frozen spinach flavor as opposed to the canned. To me, there is a distinct difference for me. Maybe other people have no problem with it, and that's totally fine. I get that. But for me personally, but I also heard once, okay, on a cooking type show years and years ago, that a block of frozen spinach, get a load of this, is the equivalent, equivalent to four pounds of fresh spinach. What? That's what I heard. And I never forgot it. How true it is. I don't know. I, I'm not going to figure it out by measuring it, right? <laughs> but it is nice to know. The next bargain in the frozen section of the grocery store to me is frozen fruit. Uh, 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 uh. It is convenient. And you could get certain types of fruit that you like all year. I think you could get really good prices. I've gotten the store brands totally fine. Perfect for smoothies. Also perfect for when you want a quick frozen guilt-free snack. And anybody you know, trying to, you know, lose a couple or just eat a little healthier, maybe just want to, you know, Take a piece or two of that frozen fruit off the block from the bag it comes in or the berries frozen. Delish. Just have it just like that. So those are the three winner winner frozen stuff uh, for, well, not necessarily dinner, <laughs> but winner winner nonetheless at the grocery store. So I thought I'd mention it. Now, this is completely, this tip is completely unrelated to the grocery store. However, it has to do with money keeping, which is one of my always favorite topics to talk about. I like to talk about keeping money or saving money because it is vital. It is important to everyone. I would hope so anyway. I mean, you know, gone are the days when you just like play kick the can and say, ah, the heck with money. No, 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 no. Hopefully not. No, 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 no. But anyway, Here's a tip. And actually, Steve and I, Steve Young from the Everywhere with Steve Young 74 channel, we both talked about this tip a while ago. However, it is definitely worth bearing repeating, okay? And it is as simple as this. You know, we should always keep a couple of bucks of cash in our possession. All right? Because why? Because you never know. I'm talking about like petty cash. But keep it put it away and like, forget it. And sometimes the best thing to do is not to mention it, just do it, put it away for your sanity. And I have a really great suggestion. Do you have a photo, a photo frame that you have hanging up on a wall or one of those like standalones and you just don't say a word. What, what does it take to put away 20 or 40 or a $50 bill like behind the picture and then close the picture up as usual? No one but yourself would know the better. Just saying, just saying, you know, these, <laughs> these little tricks come to mind. So just thought I'd mention that little bit of a tidbit for you. And by the way, thank you for being here. And I do appreciate your time, but I would appreciate it also if you would do the following. I would appreciate it if you share this video with someone who might be interested. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Take good care. Be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.